Hey, what's up, guys? This is Coach Ben from the BuildMySportsBiz.com uh, podcast and YouTube channel. And today I want to show you the best way to market yourself if you are brand new to your sports business. Uh, let's say you don't have a lot of customers yet and you're looking for customers. Today I'm going to show you a very simple three step process that's going to help you get your first customer into the door. All right, so here is step one. Step one, we want to always pretend that nobody knows about you. All right, so if nobody knows about you, how are you going to position yourself in front of the right people who you want to train? All right, so I always try to think about who is the ideal client, right? So for me, I know exactly who my ideal client is in my soccer training business. And this is what I help coaches do all the time in our mastermind. I help them understand who is the ideal client and only target those people. All right. This way you are serving the ideal client within your business. All right. So that's number one. We want to figure out who that is, right? If you're trying to train uh, athletes or clients in too big of a spectrum, too big of a range, then you're not really specific. And that's normally what a lot of other trainers do. I'd rather you be a specialist and figure out who the ideal client is. And let's try to figure out how we can get in front of them. So number one, figure out who the ideal client is. Okay. Number two, when you understand who the ideal client is, now what we need to do is see how we can position ourselves in front of them. Okay. So here's a very easy tip. Okay. For me, I like to train soccer players that play at the YMCA in a certain part of San Antonio, Texas, uh, that's very close to where I live. Um, the area that that YMCA is located at is a perfect area for soccer. Like there's a lot of families that live over there. Uh, there's a lot of parks that are over there. There's a lot of uh, pluses to that area that, that I target. And then I dig deeper from there. I think, okay, well, how old is the player that I want to train? Like, what is their goals? Do they want to go play club soccer? Do they want to just stay where they're at? Like, what, what is their goals? All right. And so I start to dive really deep into that, that player profile. And when I understand exactly who I want to train, then when I do step two, which is position myself in front of those parents, those players, it's very easy because now I'm in front of the ideal client that I want to serve. So when I position myself in front of them, it's very easy. I could go to any YMCA in the United States and tell them, hey, I'm Coach Ben. I would love to add value to your soccer program. Can I put on a free clinic here for 20 kids? And I would love to invite all of their parents as well so I can meet them. I can show them drills that their kids can be doing on their own. And now I've literally just injected myself into that YMCA and now I'm in front of 20 kids. So 20 kids who don't know me, 20 parents who don't know me. And now I'm positioning myself though in front of the right people, the right audience. Now I could take that same concept and multiply that across all of the other like recreational soccer leagues, recreational clubs. There's literally thousands of people and that's just in soccer, like in, in any sport out there, you have that opportunity because there's always going to be a beginner uh, league or an advanced league. It doesn't matter. You have to tailor who you want to train. Like that's really up to you, right? So number three from there, right? Step three is once I position myself in front of the right audience, okay? I know my audience. I position myself in front of them and then I make them an irresistible offer, okay? So after I set up the free clinic, free camp, whatever it is you want to do, then I should have all of the parents contact information. I should have their name, their phone number, their email address. And really at that point, it's about how can I set up an offer that's going to attract a lot of those 20 people who, who I'm going to be training into my actual program. Okay. So this is why you have to be very strategic with how your business is set up. Like what does your program look like? Are you, training kids and just exchanging time for money or do you have an actual program set up that's scalable right so that's something that you know i'm going to be talking about in other videos and i can definitely help you one-on-one -on -one over the phone 
as far as how to set up your program, okay? But you wanna make an offer to your program that is an irresistible offer. For example, okay, this is what I would do. Um, I'm gonna go position myself in front of the right kids. I'm gonna go train them. And at the end of the clinic, I'm gonna make an offer to the parents and I'm going to simply ask them, hey, would you guys like to be a part of my monthly training program? It's very affordable. It's a group session, just like we just did today. Um, and whoever's interested, I would love to chat with you after this session, and we can take it from there. So after that session, the interested parents, they're going to sit there and talk to me. I answer any, any of their questions. <clears throat> and then from there, it's very easy. And all the people who didn't sign up or who didn't ask me for, for help after that, I have their contact info. Now I can call them, now I can email them, now I can text them. And now if I am persistent in following up with people, that is where you're going to grow your business. That's where you're gonna get more people than you've ever dreamed of, all right, to come into your business and be clients because you are following up with them. That is the number one mistake. I see amateurs who try to, to start a business, they aren't doing that. They're afraid, they hesitate, they aren't bold when they reach out to people. and. If you do things the exact same way I just talked about, you can multiply that across 10 different organizations in three months, easy. Like if you're just willing to go out there with a giving hand, help people, position yourself around the right people, and then from there give them an offer that they can't refuse, and then you follow up with people who haven't committed yet, you're going to get clients. And this is why I tell everybody, no matter what industry you're in, there is no shortage of clients, okay? I could go to any city right now in America or in the, in the world. There's always going to be athletes, no matter what sport, that need more help, right? So if you position yourself in front of the right people, though, that's going to be the ideal way of running your sports business. All right, guys, if you liked today's video, make sure and click the thumbs up button. Uh, from there, hit the subscribe button so you stay updated with all the newest content we have coming out. I will be releasing videos every single week um, and basically twice a week throughout the rest of the year I'm going to be doing this and really my whole goal outside of shooting these videos is to personally talk to you one-on-one -on -one over the phone. And so here's how I have this set up. Every single Saturday I talk to a select group of coaches who apply for a free phone call, right? And the way you do that is very simple. If you want to chat with me about your idea, about your business and you need help, Right? This is why I'm here. This is why I started this YouTube channel. This is why I started our other YouTube channel called Soccer Entrepreneur. You can go check that out. I've already helped hundreds of soccer coaches there. Um, and this is why we started Build My Sports Biz to help more coaches, no matter the sport. So if you want my help and you want to chat over the phone, over a free phone call, you got nothing to lose, right? I would love to chat with you. Um, and simply all you have to do, just go down to the link in the description. Um, it'll say, uh, chat with Coach Ben, you just click on that button there, um, and that takes you to my website. You'll see a big blue button on my website, and uh, from there, you just click on that. You go through an application form. It's very simple, and we will get in contact by the end of the week. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.